Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be installing AutoHotKey, uh, writing a very simple script, and then at the end of the video we're going to install another text editor that uh, works really great with AutoHotKey and it's called Site for AutoHotKey. All right. So first we need to go into our web browser to download AutoHotKey. So we're going to type AutoHotKey.com. Okay. I'm using Google Chrome, but of course you may use any browser you choose. It'll work just the same. And we are going to go to download. And we're going to install auto hotkey L. Um, some people prefer basic, but auto hotkey L has been updated more recently. I believe basic was last updated in 2009 and AutoHotKey L was updated like last week. So we're going to go with the more recent version, uh, which has lots of new features. Okay. And it's just your usual install, uh, read through the license agreement. Okay. Um, I'm going to install Unicode 32 bit. Some people prefer, uh, prefer the 64 bit if they're running a 64 bit computer. I'm not, so it's grayed out. Um, the major problem with this is certain scripts, especially advanced ones, don't run on 64-bit either at all or very well. And uh, the ANSI build, ANSI, uh, runs a little bit slower, or sorry, it runs faster, but you can't use all the same characters and there's some compatibility issues, so we're going to go with Unicode. It's a basic install, all right? And we're going to go default path and all that. All right. And now we have all these tools that are being installed. And this is the help file, which if you haven't used auto hotkey before, which you probably haven't if you're watching this video, this is going to be uh, pretty much your Bible for learning auto hotkey. We're just going to take a quick look at that and then we're going to move on. All right. So we have the index. If you know what you're looking for, win move. Okay and you just hit enter and you get all this information about it and um, you'll get used to using it very soon but for now we're going to write a simple script so we're going to go to all programs and notepad accessories notepad maybe different on your computer all right so now we have notepad open and we're going to write a very simple script uh, this is what's called a hello world message box hello auto hotkey world okay and now this is a part that a lot of people get confused about they just go in here and they click save but you have to go to all files since we're not saving a text file if you just leave it as text and you type script dot ahk it's actually going to save it as script dot ahk dot text and um, it won't run with the auto hotkey interpreter as easily you won't be able to double click on it and uh, windows won't know it's an auto hotkey script so we're going to say all files and make sure it saves as a dot ahk and since we're using unicode we don't save it as unicode but we save it as utf8 and um, the reason we don't save it as the default is because if we put anything past the, I think it, I'm not sure if it's the 256 or the 128 uh, characters you can use, um, it'll just show up as question marks and stuff won't work right. Okay, so now we have our script saved here. We saved it to the desktop and we are going to double click. Uh, you can also right click and hit run script or compile it into an executable. We're just going to run it and we get a little message box that says hello auto hotkey world we press OK you see how we have the have the script down there so if something was going wrong we can always right click and hit exit or we're just going to hit OK and the script exits and the icon goes away 